It is uh, 1240, and observing a quorum to be present, the business meeting of the 70th West Coast Science Fantasy Conference will be in order. This meeting is being recorded. The recording will be posted to YouTube at our earliest convenience. If you were here, your voice and image will and may, may and will be recorded. And uh, you consent to doing that by being here. I am the chairman, Kevin Stanley. The secretary is Linda Denneroff. The videographer is Lisa Hayes. The first item of business is site selection. There, West, the Westercon does not require official receipt of site selection results. The site selection administrator, Vignalo, was uh, called away on an emergency and delegated the job to me and with the assistance of other members, including Linda Dinneroff, Seth Breidbart, and Judy Bemis, we conducted the election yesterday. The results of the election are incorporated into the minutes of the meeting. The summary being that there were 42 votes total cast, of which 39, 43, oh that's right, I'm subtracting the numbers right. There's 43 total votes cast, of which 39 had a preference. 20 votes were required to elect. Utah received 32 of the first ballot votes and was declared elected, and the administrator that was acting, me, handed over uh, their, and told them you, you won. Uh, and release the results at that point. Also, we also heard from Tonopah, Nevada with three, Reno, Nevada with two, Hopland, California with one, and both with one. Mm -hmm. I would like to call upon the, Wester, the newly seated Westercon 72 committee to give a presentation at this time. Ms. Hatcher. Okay. My name is Kate Hatcher and I will be the new chair of Westercon 72 in Layton, Utah in 2019. Our dates are July 4th through July 7th. Um, we have the Davis Conference Center and the attached Hilton Garden Inn and Suites. And we have a copy of PR0 that we're handing out. Um, hotel prices are $129, not set in stone until we sign the final contract, but that's what they're turning out to be. And we have as our guest of honor, we have Jim Butcher as our author guest of honor, and Vincent Villafranca as our artist guest of honor. We have Kitty Krell as our cosplay guest of honor. And for our fan guest of honor, we have Kevin Stanley, and Lisa Hayes, and Kuma Bear. <laughs> and I'm open to questions, so I'm nervous. <laughs> Chair sees no one wishing to ask questions. I believe you will have your information table open where the Utah for 2019 table was earlier. Yes, we will be open after the business meeting for memberships and upgrades. Um, membership pricing is starting at 55. If you pre-supported and voted at this WesterCon, we are giving you an attending membership. Very good. Okay, this says that you have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they reversed my thing. But okay. no, we, we agreed that pre-support and voting does not have to pay anymore. All right. So okay. if you pre-support and voted, you are a member. <coughs> it's probably more effective to engage the newly seated convention with uh, at their table, but uh, the one question is, you um, uh, to confirm on the record during the meeting, you are also bidding now for the, uh, if for, if there's a need for one to ho to co-host with WesterCon the 2019 NASVIC, is that correct? Yes, we are bidding for the NASVIC 2019, as long as there's a world con overseas, and it's our intent to combine them with primarily engaging people to vote and be a bigger part of the community that we all love. Well, thank you very much. And, um, and personally, I say thank you very much on behalf of me, my wife, and our bear. And uh, congratulations.
There are no items of business passed on from last year's WesterCon for ratification. Does anybody at this time uh, seek recognition for the purpose of introducing new business? Hearing none, is there any objection to adjourning at this time? Oh. Oh, yes? Move to destroy the ballot. Oh, very good. A good point that uh, I, I realized I, I, I meant to, I couldn't presume the motion on account of my own involvement in it, yes. Uh, there's a motion to to uh, destroy the ballots. Uh, Start call check. Yes, that, that. Is there any objection to destroying the Westercon ballots at this time? Hearing none, the tellers are are direct. The tellers are directed to destroy the ballots. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're really looking for such a point, if you really wanted to look for a final point at which your election is official, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any objection to adjourning at this time? Hearing none, at 12.46 p.m., the business meeting of the West Coast Science Fantasy Conference 70th edition is adjourned.